The Hissing trial was the first ever randomized trial, which was a head-to-head -head comparison between biventricular pacing, which is our standard, and corrective Hiss bundle pacing. The study design was a pilot study that was a one-to-one -one randomization where the University of Chicago served as the independent coordinating site, issued central randomization to seven centers, and did blinded core analysis of the echocardiography and the electrocardiographic data. The design was really that patients that had a standard indication for CRT, class one or class two, would be randomly allocated one-to-one -to, -one to receive his CRT versus by VCRT. We actually found that there was a pretty high crossover rate where 48% of the time those randomized to his CRT actually had to be crossed over to by VCRT and 26% of those that were in by VCRT actually were crossed over to his CRT, which confounds the intention to treat analysis, which is why we report the intention to treat analysis, but then also looked at a secondary lens of per protocol and on treatment analyses. Yeah, we found that with regard to echocardiographic response, we were looking for a 10% difference for superiority in favor of HIS versus CRT. And we found that there was a 4% difference, but this was numerically but not statistically significant. And with regard to electrocardiographic resynchronization as evidenced by the QRS narrowing, there was improvements from both groups. It was statistically significant with the HIS relative to baseline, but the in-between differences between groups were not statistically significant by intention to treat principles due to high crossover. I think the implications are many. Pilot studies are never meant to be conclusive. They're meant to be hypothesis generating, understand which populations should be studied in the future, look, reflect on how we did, look at the size of the treatment effect. And I think we've learned a lot. And the most important lesson is that those with IVCD in an unselected population, like the class two indication for CRT, probably can't be corrected by his bundle pacing. And a lot of the mechanistic left septal mapping work we've done really shows that those with intact Purkinje activation, these IVCDs, cannot be helped with conduction system pacing. Those patients will really be exclusively you know, looked at separately. And future studies need to really exclude IVCDs for these and try to target left bundle branch block patients.